All right, thanks, Scotty. Well, we're joined now, like you said, by Colton Wong, and uh, clearly heading into the season, we've heard so many discussions about how you're taking this differently. You're approaching this a little bit different, and I'm sure emotionally, last season took a toll on you. Yeah. So how are you changing things when it heads into spring training? Um, just not going in there anticipating anything. You know, I, I figured, you know, this year is a year that I need to earn my job. You know, I understand, you know, things were said, and, you know, Mo said something about me being the second baseman, this and that, but I understand that I got to come to this you know, fighting for my job. I, I don't want to come in, you know, anticipating that I'm going to be given the second base job. I'm ready to go in there and, you know, put my best foot forward. And, you know, I've been working this whole offseason for it, so I'm excited. And it wasn't just different um, approach mentally, but you also stayed in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. You and your wife uh, bought a home, made this home as well, working out with, you know, John Jay and being here. So how has that helped you kind of just staying into the focus of what's going on with the Cardinals organization? It's been really good because I got a chance to, you know, being here in St. Louis, you know, St. Louis Cardinals baseball is everywhere. So I never got a chance to get away. And, you know, mentally I had to keep that edge of understanding that I'm a Cardinal and I got to keep getting better and better every single day. And, um, you know, it keeps you at that point where you got to hold yourself to that standard because people are seeing you here. You know, people are recognizing you. And it was good because it really just kept me and actually let me understand, you know, why people here are so passionate and why people love the Cardinals so much. And it gave me a new appreciation of playing for this team. And, uh, of course, your wife, Alyssa, was here with you, so I just was mm -hmm. kind of talking with you about it. How you guys adjusted, you know, being from Hawaii to the St. Louis winter weather and just kind of being here? Yeah. Um, well, actually, she's from Ohio, so she's – this is nothing for her. But for me, uh, it was definitely a new challenge, uh, being in, in the cold and understanding what it's like to bundle up. I, I never had to bundle up in my entire life, so this was something different. And uh, just, you know, experiencing the real falls and, you know, going into winter, it was – it was pretty cool. I've, I really enjoyed my time here in St. Louis so far. And you went to the Winter Classic, and then you guys also took a trip overseas, correct? Yeah. We uh, went to the Winter Classic. We did a little Euro trip. So it was a good little off season for us. We got to really get away and uh, just, I guess, get away and also enjoy St. Louis at the same time. Last question. What are you looking forward to the most out of this next season, the addition of Dexter Fowler, some young guys coming up, some great talent? What do you see being the biggest transition for this organization? I think the transition from, you know, how we were so, such a power team last year to being more of a explosive, fast, you know, aggressive team. I think if we do that transition and we, you know, follow through, that's going to be huge for us. The Cardinal way when I got drafted was always known as, you know, doing thing, doing the small things right and, you know, playing small ball. And, you know, that's been the winning ways for I don't know how long for the Cardinals. And I think last year was, you know, we were trying something different, but going back to how they were and, you know, bringing in someone like a Dexter Fowler. It's going to be huge for us this year, so I'm excited. All right, well, thank you for joining us, and best of luck this season. Thanks for having me. All right, Scotty, back to you.